Hello and welcome to the Navy Blue Corner. I'm Ian, joined as always by my good mate Lockie, and we are back to revisit our much loved game, Guess the 22. For those oh who didn't see our last installment of this game in the preseason, Lockie and I basically had to do exactly what the title suggests. We had to name as many players from the starting 22 as possible from an iconic Carlton game selected by the other person. The last time we played this and the only time we have, it ended in a ridiculous draw, which we we couldn't have scripted it to end a better way. We simply can't have that happen again. We must decide a winner. And in the Ian v. Lockie challenges, currently we're tied one all because we've also done some, you know, some live drafts that we've had the the, the public have to vote yep. on who won. So we are tied one all in these challenges plus the draw. This is a real winner takes all battle today. Lockie, how are you feeling about today's big challenge? I should have rewatched the last one to see how nervous I looked then because I feel like I was calm. And I'm nervous now. It feels like the pressure's on now. Seeing how you performed in your round last time, it's, you know, it's set the bar high and I'm ready to under under deliver. Well, I can't wait for the this one to be over in two seconds where I've selected about two yep. players. You come in, select three, and the game is done. But yeah, I agree. I'm way more nervous and shitting myself compared to last time. It's going to be great. And look, before we get stuck in though, we do have a bit of an update for the podcast, particularly pertaining yes. to the YouTube channel for those watching. They may realize that we haven't been on here really since the season started. So for those who aren't aware, our regular weekly show is still well and truly running, but it is available to watch Driving. every Wednesday night at the new time of 8 p.m. over on the Blue Abroad YouTube channel. Links will be available in the description in the show notes. So make sure you head over there every Wednesday, 8 p.m. and never miss an episode Podcast streaming wise, we're still on the same platform. It's not going to be anything different, but we haven't been on here. So I thought there might be a few that are watching this going, what are you doing? Where's the in-season content? Well, it's still there, but just over on the Blue Abroad YouTube channel. But look, that's enough of the chit chat, enough of the update. Let's get into it because we've slightly changed things up in the challenge this time round. Obviously, the spinning wheel will return but maybe we're inspired a little bit by the uh, the big Taylor Swift who is taking the world by storm. This is a bit of an errors tour. We're going by the, the wheel of death is going to be selecting an error of Carlton that we have witnessed. And from mm-hmm. that, the opposing player will choose an iconic game from said error with that other person having to guess as many players as they can. And just so you all remember, it is three incorrect guesses. Once that happens, no more selecting, game ends, other person's Ooh. turn. So let's go to the wheel and see what error we are selecting because I love the wheel. those who were there last time, Lockie had the unfortunate part of having to guess first, which both of us have decided is the worst one to have, which mm, means mm-hmm. because of that, I have to select first. Maybe that's an Before- event. Because I get the before error. you spin, no. I'd love to know. Let, let's set the the precedent. Yeah. What are you hoping? What would you love mm. to land on here? Oh, I think I'd love to land on Ratten error. Interesting. I feel as if that was probably the most stable the list was for a degree, mm. and maybe where my memory of the core players were. Bolton could be anything, like I found last time. Pagan, I don't know how well I remember who played in yeah. what year. Malthouse, probably closer. So I think I'm hoping I like I'm that. hoping Ratten, and I think I want Bolton's error the least. Is is really? what I want. Yeah. What are you what are you wanting? I want to before I spin the magic wheel, yeah. what are you wanting or not wanting to land on? I, I feel like we've got our bases covered content wise here. Because Pagan is definitely the one I least want. <laughs> Um, Malthouse is probably the one that I want, actually. Mm. Even though I don't reminisce about this era, it's not a fond era of mine because it ruined our club for a decade after. I feel like I know those guys really well and I'd be happy Mm. with Bolton. Pagan's the one I want to avoid. So if if you can get Pagan on this spin, I've got a 25% chance. 
Um, I'm loving the Kung Fu Panda on the left there. Um, yes, we love the advertising. Big shout out, big shout out to Jack Black. Uh, he's obviously, you know, a, a big fan of the podcast. So I'm hoping, hopefully, he's tuning in and Are you looking to the, do the some carving? carving. Is that why you're getting served? Car- oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. That I could love have been anything you know, that pops up there. Oh, this 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 is the nervous part. Thank God this isn't live. <laughs> Obviously, you know, you know these suggested ads. You often see someone post on Twitter, something will come up and they'll be like, these dirty uh-huh. ads that are on these channels, what's going on? Why am on? I getting this? Uh, I don't know what's happening because I've never looked up anything to do with carving forks for an or- you know, what is going on. I don't know what's happening, but let's hmm. let's forget about that. Let's sure. spin the wheel. What error does Lockie have to find a game for me to guess? Spin oh, please be pagan. That wheel here we go oh it's so nerve-wracking take the pagan off the board for me oh get to ratten come on come Come on on. rig this wheel it's weighted it's weighted i love that (laughs) how have you weighted this wheel that's amazing don't you worry i've coded the coded the website myself it's also how i got that you know carving fork up on the screen oh if i can get malt house here i think i'm going to be in a really Mm. Yeah, so for those who aren't watching this, who are listening in podcast form, maybe head over to the YouTube channel. It might be a little bit easier to follow yeah. and watch every single player. Visual one. But basically, because I've gotten Ratten, that means Lockie cannot. He's been removed, which means it's 04 to 07 Pagan, 13 to 15 Malthouse, or 16 to 19 Bolton. I tell you what, if you get Pagan here, I'll genuinely cop Shouts of rigged. So I actually don't want you to get it. <laughs> Here we go, Loggy. Spinning the wheel. Come on. I'll be so happy with the either of the others. Okay, oh, this is Malthouse. Pagan. Wow, we have both gotten this is big. the one that we wanted. That's bad because that means we now have to perform. Well, now the pressure's on because we both got exactly what we well, after. Now, mm-hmm. oh, this is big. So we're going to basically, you're not going to know this in post when you actually listen to it, but we're going to pause. We're going to have a bit of research, find the game, an iconic Carlton game from those errors that we have to guess. We will be right back. And we are back. We've got the iconic games ready to, and selected. Lockie, I have gotten from the magic wheel, the Brett Ratton era, 2008 to 2012. It's the era I said I wanted. So there's a lot of pressure on me. What game? Am I having to guess the 22, three wrong answers, the game ends? I would say we would deem this an iconic game. Maybe not one that we look back on favorably, but hopefully Mm. it's one that you will know and remember. Yes. It was our first final since 01. So it was in 2009 elimination final. Versus Brisbane. Oh, yes. Okay. With. Okay. You, you, you love to try and pick a loss, I feel. What, you tried to sting me well, with the uh, the Hawthorne <laughs> loss last time, but it's finally worked. And okay, I do remember this game. I do recall watching it. I'm still haunted by bloody Brayshaw in the corner, Bradshaw, whatever his bloody name was. I can't even think he's clouded my, my brain so much. In the like you mentioned pocket, on. Miss. Like you mentioned on our Blue Abroad episode this week, you know, we always seem to lose after a buy, but that's not really about the buy. That's just because we always lose. Same thing with our iconic games. They just oh. come in losses because we just yeah. lost a lot. So I'm sorry, <laughs> but that's just the way it was. Oh, it still haunts me. We should have won this one. Okay. This is big. We should have. Absolutely. Uh, so the should've. last time I guessed, my first bloody guess was a did not play. Oh, I'm pretty sure like my third true. one was a did not play. If there is a big player that. See this, I'm rattled already and we haven't even started. Oh, okay. my God, you're so nervous. I am. So I. I I'm nervous stop. just I've for got... you to be guessing. Last time you, you you made me more nervous because you came out of the block so well. You never got a wrong answer. The pressure was on. I've got to put a good marker on this. I've got to win. Let's, let's start off chances, yeah. hopefully easily. I want to go ruck. Give me... Cruiser. 19 disposals, 18 hit out for the big cruise. Oh, amazing. Add that well and truly into my little spreadsheet there, Lockie. Beautiful. Done. Okay. Strong Cruiser start. Is there. Uh, let's go the spine. Give me, as I live and breathe, 
Michael Jamison. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't. It's Damn. happened again. It's happened again. <laughs> I'm perusing the list. Come on, Let don't do it quick. Me. Was he A dead? Quick... What is going on? No wonder they Man, kicked all F. the goals late if he's not there. That is the incorrect. First. <laughs> Far out. This is disgraceful. Blemish. But it happens to me. I'm gone. Yeah. And this okay. is what kicked you off so well. So I'm afraid the only Michael in this game was Riscatelli. Oh, that's a that's a big, big problem for me. Uh back line <laughs> is cooked it then. Uh let's steer away from that. Let's I'm going. Let it okay, screw it. Um, it's happening again. I know this guy played this game. And if he didn't, this is almost a game over for me. Give me Satanta O'Halpin in the fourth line. <laughs> No, he was there. He was there. He was there. Ian, I am not joking right now when I say that in the 2009 elimination final, there was, was no there. Satanta O'Halpin. He, I swear he kicked a goal, mate. I remember seeing the vision. <laughs> this is a... This is a elimination final. Are we going to have to go to the uh, go to the record here? This is a genuine Mandela effect because I remember him kicking a goal late. He kicked a goal late. Well, we didn't kick any goals late. I'm pretty sure they kicked the last six goals of the game. Oh, it was there about. It was in the game. It was in the game. Oh, this is bad. I'm out early. You can't. I well, I want to. I want someone fact checking this. He played in that game. We're gonna watch this back after. I mean, do we do we trust FinalSiren.com and their stats? Uh, I hate this. I'm going out and straight. I've gone one in, out, out. You've won. Well, if this is a short episode, no, no. This is this is what happened last time, and then you went on. It wasn't this bad. Run. It wasn't this bad, mate. Um, okay. I, I've cross-checked with AFLtables.com, which is my normal go-to, and I can confirm that Jamison and O'Halpin did not play in this game. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Oh, I hate everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> so confident. He was there. Well, I know this there. guy played. He definitely did. So I believe didn't. nothing anymore. I, got, I genuinely cannot. I'm rattled too early. <sighs> I know nothing anymore. Uh, <laughs> if he wasn't here... We can put it all in the bin, well and truly. Oh, I'm, I'm t- I, I, this is it. This is, it happened last time. I second guess everything now because you really crumble under this pressure, but then you deliver and you rise. Yeah, no, nah, I'll go. I'm happy to go out so easily in this. I'm happy to go out on my fourth pick, Heath Scotland. Yes, Heath Scotland, 19 touches. Absolutely. Okay. Now let's get some momentum going. Think mm. about the Heath Scotland. We're in trouble. Scotland We're in trouble. There's too much. I thought I helped him was no, there. No, no. I thought Jamo was there. This means nothing anymore. I'm too scared to say midfielders who exist. I think in you are going to go on a 15 name run here at least. I'm, I feel like I'm on your side now. I feel like I'm not versing you. I'm trying to bring you up. I believe in you, Ian. You can do this. <laughs> Please tell me Eddie Betts was there. Eddie Betts, of course he was. Thank you. Oh, please, for the love of this game actually being a close contest, <sighs> tell me that Bryce Gibbs was there. I mean, of course he was. Oh, see, I don't trust anything anymore. Ian, go safe, safe. This is good. See, that's the thing. I tried this last time. My strategy, for those that missed it, was uh, Mark Murphy, not there. Uh, Cruiser, not there. I'm thrown because of this. I have trust issues, but I, I have to go again. Give me Cade Simpson. Yeah, absolutely was okay. there. Okay. I, just need, I need to get to like 15 players at least. And I, be, I really do believe in you. Thing. I, I'm happy to lose. Can I'm I make an really, outlandish but, statement? Okay. Yes, go for it. I genuinely think you could actually get every name from here yeah, without a mistake. Worry. That's a worry. <laughs> um, that's the pressure I'm putting on you. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Give me. Judd. Mate, of course the skip was there. Best on. Murphy worries me. I feel like this guy's always had a couple of injury niggles here or there. 
surely he would have been there for this game. It's an, it's not like that, you know, West Coast final where we have our whole team out, and I remember us having the That's whole true. team out. I don't recall that happened. Um, gee, 2000, 2009. I'm not getting that vibe either. If he wasn't Demo here. Feels like the big emission. This mm, guy wasn't here after this. I swear he should have been around. Worries me if he's not. If this is the omission I go out on, whatever. Give me Fev, surely. Yeah, absolutely. Fev was okay. there. What did he kick? kick? He kicked three, the big Fev. Okay. All okay. Famer. Okay. Who else would have been in We're Getting some good team. momentum here. Yeah, I'm trying to think around this this era. There's plenty of names. I just need to make sure I'm I'm not missing anyone stupid because I can't think of any key defenders that would have played except for that. Big man Jamo. Big man O'Halpin. Okay. He should have been around here with those omissions. Surely. Surely. Uh, this could hurt. This could hurt. Hang on a minute. No, we'll go simple. Murphy. He played. Thank you. We'll go slightly riskier with this next one. Mm -hmm. In um, Jared Waite. Didn't play. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Wow. You're going to win this wow, easy. Wow, wow, wow. You're going to win this easy. No, that's now bad. the pressure is well and truly on. Jesus, that's bad. Oh, Ian, really? I'm, I'm really, I'm going to be sad going through this list with you. Oh, can I just I really almost am. like free run it now and try and Yeah, of course. Just, well, that's just, like, obviously this means mean. nothing. This means nothing. Um, Give me uh, Dennis Armfield. Played. Okay, that's bullshit. Um, give me Hulahan. Played. That's 25 bad. for big hoops. Give me Brett Thornton. Played. Give me Carazzo. Thrives. Played. Play. You thrive with the pressure off. Garlet. Was Played. he there yet? Fuck, this is this bad. Um, I was almost going to suggest doing a five strikes before we started. But yeah, I thought, well, yeah. maybe we need it. Maybe we need Aaron Joseph. Played. Yeah, this is bullshit. The, I almost this. named everyone now. Um, gee, who else would have been there in the team? Shawnee Hampson. They love playing yep. him, surely. Yep, they love playing him. 20 hit outs. Rogue. Cam Wood. Oh, I think you're thinking of someone else. I think I'm thinking of someone else. Oh, Cameron Cloak. Sorry. Correct. Is what I'm thinking of? Correct. Yes, Cameron Cloak in the Yeah, he would have. Okay. You've um, almost got them all now. How many am I missing just quietly after getting oh, it completely wrong? Maybe five. It looks like maybe, maybe five. Like I'll just go five guesses. Oh, okay. yeah, do it. It's good. Jordan Russell. Yep, played. You needed the I'll five be honest, strikes. That's about all I can think of from that era. Uh, Chris Yaron, was he there yet? Not yet. No, no, he wasn't there yet. Uh, yeah, oh, that's who else? So who I, else did I miss out on here? I don't think you said Walker, did you? No, oh, I completely forgot he existed. That's Andrew good. Walker. Um, only a couple others. Nick Stevens was still around. Oh, still there. Jeez. Right near the end. Um, and then probably the maybe the three hardest guys to get. Paul Bauer. Yeah. Sean That's, Grigg. That, that makes – oh, Sean Grigg, yeah, did play quite a bit. And Simon Wiggins, probably the nichest of them all. Yeah, but still a notable player. I yeah, think. see, I don't know what game I'm thinking of where – Santanta was there. I, I'm genuinely Mandela affecting there. I yeah. recall him kicking goals in this game. I remember there being a center bounce. The ball goes back to the middle, and I'm seeing Satant being like, what is this idiot doing? He's got no idea. So I don't know Let what me... game I'm thinking of that that happened where he kicked a goal against Brisbane over in Brisbane that was of any significance. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to I think I've I'm lost the consult. plot. No, I'm gonna, I'll consult the history books here. It didn't happen. Uh... It clearly didn't happen. But that is, that is, that is not good. The Blues have still got the time. Carazzo gets it from McLean. Bits held on to. And Satanta is that. Well, it's been a cameo sort of a match, hasn't it? He's going to kick his fourth. Well, I shouldn't say that, should I? <laughs> this is a genuine Mandela effect because I remember him kicking a goal late. 
He's got it, so he's kicked four, and the Blues are still very much in the match. I yeah. recall him kicking goals in this game. I remember there being a centre bounce. The ball goes back to the middle, and I'm seeing Satant being like, what is this idiot doing? He's got no idea. So I don't know Let what me. game I'm thinking of that that happened where he kicked a goal against Brisbane over in Brisbane that was of any significance. So this is, yeah, horrific. Uh, eight to tie, nine to win. The pressure is massive, massively on. I feel like the now, pressure's even more now. I want to rat an error. I've absolutely botched it. I Somewhere Satant is running around. Maybe we needed him. He could have been the difference in that game. If Satant was running around, we hold on and beat the Brisbane Lions. But the game I've selected for you, the Mickey Malthouse error, one oh of the, the, the worst of our childhood, pressure. 2014. Let me take you back to round six. We're at a lovely Marvel Stadium. The roof is shut. The young Lockie is at the game hoping <laughs> for a big win against the West Coast Eagles. Lockie, there was a, a bit of a comeback near the end, uh, maybe a big goal by a certain individual. I'm sure you remember this game. It's a big win. I, I pick wins. Maybe that's it. Maybe the wins are easier to remember the players. I'm excited to see your guesses. For this one, Lockie, here we go. Yes. I am feeling so under pressure. I feel like last time, because I did so incredibly well on my first round, it kind of took a bit of pressure off you. It kind of felt like a bit like a free hit, mm. I felt like. Well, I've botched and it, you so you're go- you can't lose now, surely. But that's my worry is that now I'm going to do the classic Ian Brownie <laughs> pence up. and uh, <laughs> Don't, make Don't make this a verb. Don't make this a thing. <laughs> You've absolutely brownied it here. Yeah. Um, they'll be saying for, for years that. to for come. For years. It's in the history um, books now. Um, I'm already like thinking of plays in my head and I'm like, I don't remember if they had retired by this point or not. So hopefully, they I, remember, I remember the goal that you're referencing, um, but this isn't a game that I ever go back and actually watch mm. any of. So that's fair. I'm not feeling super confident, but let's start off with Troy Menzel. Well, <laughs> Eddie Maguire absolutely enough, losing it. He wasn't in the starting lineup he oh was the sub God. he's there don't you worry super sub <laughs> late inclusion troy menzel he's there as your okay this is this is bad eight for this the is really eight scary more. three this is really scary i hope i hope you're feeling the pressure and you start to pick guys that retired in about 2001 say steven's no, money please <laughs> That's where I'm headed because it, when we previously did this, I could so vividly remember players actually in this game. So I've got a lot of guys in my head that I know were around here, but I can't remember them in this game. So I'm going to do what you did, and I'm going to also go with Matthew Cruiser right at the start. Oh, no. Give me give me a sec. Give <laughs> oh me a sec. <laughs> this could be one of the all-time bottle jobs. I'm sorry, mate. Matthew Cruiser. Are you- He's not (laughs) there. He's not there. See, I'm already so dead. Yes, come on. Make this a close one. Cruz is not there. This is (laughs) I need you to now get this one incorrect, and I will feel so much better. Knowing you have no, you know, fail safe immediately in this contest is great. I'm trying to look through. Is there someone I don't big omitting from this lineup? I wonder who is your next uh, selection? Pressure's on. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> See, it's not easy. So, yeah, it's not so, easy. So Juddy scares me. I'm not going to say him yet uh, because, you know, I, I felt like he had some injuries yeah. at this time. Okay. Um, wow. So Ruckman. Mm. Oh, my God, Ian. Yep. This is going to be scary. Andrew Walker. The man I forgot is... There he's in yeah. the back pocket. For some reason, I remember places. Him so that's not a good start from me. You've already basically, you're ahead. You're ahead of the legend. Okay. What about Chris Yaron? Chris Yaron was there. Don't worry. It's just me looking for the thing. There's a lot of pause like for tension. Yeah. But I'm not meaning it. He's actually in the forward pocket. So that's a great selection okay. from you. And yeah, I'm very nervous now. That's three correct. You need. Nine total. Six I'm, to I'm, sca- I'm scared to do the... I'm like you. I'm scared to do the midfield mainstays for mm. some reason. Uh, I just feel like maybe you would have picked this game to try and get a, a cheeky one of them out Who of knows? me. A miss. So I'm instead no, of going to go... Amos was not playing. 
What about <laughs> what it's about Zach Tui? Oh, I hate this so much. You've got another one. He was again okay. that back pocket. You're, you're really getting this defense well, and Ian is in a lot of trouble for this. When you eventually win, I want to see how far you can go oh, with this. Anyway, come if you, on! If you Don't guess the this. whole team, it's going to be amazing. No, I'm really going to need another red for you to just really spice this up as we get towards the ninth correct pick. Okay. What do you think? Mark Murphy. Of course he's there, mate. Of course. He's right in the guts, right in the center. And Bryce Gibbs has to be there. He's on the wing. He is there. This is very, very stressful. The facial expressions is me trying to keep up and write everything down, basically. Because I'm just uh, going so quick. Because i got to make sure you don't already win and I forget. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, I believe, that you have correct. I'm trying so hard to transport. Two to tie, three for the win. Okay. 2014. (laughs) Couldn't see us losing a game, potentially. No, that's what they say. What about Jared White? Jared White is full forward. He's locked and bloody loaded into this team. This is a big, big worry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that seven? Oh, no, one to tie. This is an almighty shambles from yours truly. Lockie, for the tie. Kate Simpson. Oh, no. That was one of the, I genuinely, I got very excited, but no, he is there. He's just, he's made, he's, he's roving. I, I went to, when I had to scroll past, I was like, I've done oh. it. But no, Kate Simpson is lining up. That is a tie. You have two outs, one for the win and the ultimate chocolates, the bragging rights over myself that you are, Better at these games, very begrudgingly. It's hard for me to say that, but you, you've absolutely demolished this. I struggle clearly under the pump. No, no. He is absolutely, he's got ice in his veins, this Can man. You, you're One trying to put to me win. Off here. We can't have a tie, is all I'll say. So I, I am going for you at this stage because I don't want to have to do this again on the, on the big pressure, clearly. I fumble it. Two outs. You're One to put the on for the, the win. Think of the team under the roof, beat West Coast 2014. I know, it's so... Think of the team. One, Who could have been there's there? There's one name that keeps jumping out at me, and I just feel like he couldn't... He might not have been playing at this time. You can say it without locking it in for the listeners and the viewers watching right now because they want to know what's going through your, your brain at the uh, moment. In mine, there's uh, not a lot normally, but I bet there's something happening in yours right now. So I'm thinking, like, yeah... This is nearly the end of Juddy, if I remember correctly. So I'm worried that he could be mm. injured. Mitch Robinson, he's a guy for some reason I can picture him in this game, but I am wondering whether he left. I can't remember the year he left. I know ah. he left because of Big Mick. Mm. I feel like it was either this year or the year later. Or so was there's he him. Ended, was he injured? He had a couple. Sometimes he knocked himself out, this bloke. Who knows? Exactly. If he's in this team or not. But for some reason, he's one. the only guy I can actually like picture in this game. And you're two outs. Th- you do have two outs if you want to. Yeah, okay. That I'm I'm gonna thing. potentially just fuck it all up here. <laughs> what else and are I'm you gonna... thinking? If you if you oh. if you th- if you're worried about Mitchie Robinson, who are you tossing between here under the pressure? So there's Daisy Thomas. I think this was his first year. With Mick, I believe, mm-hmm. but I, for some reason, I feel like he had some injury issues early on. So maybe he wasn't playing. Came then. to the club with an ankle. Who knows? Yeah. But what year did he arrive? Um, Sam Doherty's first season, I think. Um, Cripper as well. I don't. I'm not sure if Cripper had debuted at this stage. And then there's all the guys from like the 2013 that I remember fondly, mm. like Jamo, Jeffy Garlett. Um, I feel like Eddie Betts had maybe had he left this year or the year after because it's got to be a Ruckman. Cruiser wasn't playing. I don't think and Cam Eddie Betts, Wood was there. Known yet. Ruckman. Uh- <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. That's my train of thought is is mm, not in the right I like place it. here. 
I like what you've gone through, but you've named a lot of players, and I wanted you to do that. I wanted you to get your thoughts out, process it all, but <laughs> I'm going to need you to lock in one. This is for the win. One more correct answer. You you take home the chocolates, the bragging rights, until we play again, and I stuff it up again. But two wrong answers to go. One correct, you win. Lockie, who played 2014, round six, V West Coast, the big Troy Menzel goal near the end. Who played? Lockie Henderson. So you have decided, after all that, to lock in a guy that you have not mentioned this whole time. This is called fumbling. That could have been one of the worst, but, mate, he's there. He's, of course, the centre-half forward. Lockie takes out in a W. Wow. Oh, that is disappointing. I apologise that I wasn't able to give him much more of a challenge. Maybe we need to sub in someone next time on my behalf. It is a lot better at this game. But, look, we've come this far, Lockie. No, no. There's only one incorrect answer. Let's see. I reckon we we keep going. Let's see if you can name this again. No pressure, much like mine. Let's try and rattle through the next players. Who else? All right. Let's do um, Dale Thomas. This was indeed that big Daisy Thomas game. He actually played quite well for us, starting bloody Ruck Rover, which is insane. Wow. Who did this this list here? Um, Bevo, I think. So I'm going to say Judd. Oh, see that? Yeah, okay. I, I needed to give you more competition. Chris Judd, not, yeah. not. I should have I should have known that by the fact that mm. the midfield is lined up as Murphy, Simpson, Thomas. That I should have got that. Yeah, that's big. See, if I had, if I had just not yeah. gone as hard on Satanta, maybe I could have could have got this win. I'm interested to see how many selections you go from here. This could be this could be big. You've muted yourself, you big muppet. <laughs> I tried to go dramatic effect, and I and said he just his muted name. himself. The biggest moment of the pod. Imagine did, if that happened for the, the for the win. No, I heard nothing. That would have been great if that was the one for the win, and you just muted yourself, and you're like, <laughs> "Did I get it? You heard me say it. Let me the know." <laughs> I said the name, and as soon as I said it, I regretted it. So I think I. Nah, did you've that got it. You can't do that. You can't do that. Who was I'm it? I'm going to change it now because I didn't actually say it, and you didn't react. So I'm going to say instead. Um, fuck Jeff Garlett. <laughs> Jeff Garlett is there. That's very good. That's very good. He's a forward pocket. No, he's half forward. Actually, I take that back. High half forward. We love Jeffy pushing up the ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's a stupid one. Kane Lucas. I hate you so much. He's on the wing, mate. This is a. Yeah. This, you're getting it all. You will not get there. these wrong. You will not get these wrong. I'm currently running through in number order in my head. Mm, so That's smart. Uh, I'm trying to think who the number 10 was back then. The Ruck is weird to me because it was pre-Wood. I feel like it was post-Hampson and Jacobs. Oh, Warnock. Yeah, Robbie Warnock was indeed yeah. the Ruckman. This is good. See, this... Yeah. I. I still reckon you would have beat me with this because I reckon you're really good with these remembering. Nah. If I if I got would have been tight though. Would have been tight though. Who can you just you don't have to lock him in? Who was that player you were gonna say when you muted yourself? Michael Jamison. Would you like to lock him in? <laughs> I I actually think he might have retired. So no. Okay. But Who do you want like- instead? I feel like you're saying that because he is there. Um, Who else have we got? Um, Who were the other guys? So what about, he was a fringe guy, but I'll say Tom Bell. See, there you would have gone. You would, gee, that's, that hurts that all I would have needed. Oh, here we go. Keep going. And I could have made this a really hot contest, but no, my man, Tommy Bell, not existing. Is your Do you man. want to keep guessing or would you like me to read you the rest? Um, let me just, it, was there any, I'm thinking if there's other guys that I. you got a whole sit, back line there. Me. you got a full back, yeah. center, half back, both half backs. you got a half yeah. forward and then three of the four bench to go. So quite a yeah. big variety of players. Okay. So Jamo must be there. Jamo is definitely there. Definitely yeah, there. Of course he is. Of course he is. We all knew full he back. was there. Full back. Um, 
Ed Kerno? No, not there. Not there. Hmm. Um, had Doherty started? No. So yeah, this okay. is where I reckon if I got you to hear, yeah. this would have been a disaster. No, we yeah. had we had some greats. So the part, the back line, I'll I'll save you, you know, the the embarrassment Please. of uh of getting more wrong. Uh the half back line, one of the greats, Dylan Buckley, Sam Rowe, Simon White was the the, the half back line there. I should have got Dill Buckley. Your forward pocket was Levi Casbolt. Which I absolutely love. He did not cross my mind once. None of the guys you've named so far have crossed my mind during this. Mitch Robertson absolutely was there on the bench. Brock okay. McLean rounded out the midfield. You've missed a massive Didn't player here. Him. You've missed Heath Scotland, who was also on the bench. The one that there was really two guys that are two or three that I reckon would have, if we got to near all of them like last time, would have been your stumbling yeah. box. First one was Simon White. Yeah, no. Nah. This was the big one for me, and that was Andreas Everett happened to play in this game, and I thought Kane Lucas could have been another, but you have absolutely nailed this. What a oh. what a win. You, you've come home strong. Only the one incorrect answer. We're going to have to find another way to do this, and another someone's going to have to coach me. If you're watching this, listening to it, maybe I've got to go back and watch more games because that was a horrific I've... for me to only get eight correct out of 22. It's an embarrassment to me, embarrassment to my family. All the credit goes to Lockie on the win and that. the current leading Ian versus Lockie challenge winner. Pat, maybe a, a suggestion could be next time we bring in an independent moderator mm. and we go one for one. Ooh, maybe it's not like even a that. team. Maybe it's like the list in 2002 <laughs> and we're just going yeah, one big. for one. Until we miss, or something like that, just to put a different spin. Yeah, on it. because I, I'm Absolutely. clearly ne- I'm not going to lose this one. <laughs> You're clearly times. better. So anything that we can do to shake it up will be amazing. If you have any ideas, any challenges, any fun videos like that yes. that you want us to do, drop them in the comments here over on YouTube. Send over to the social media at Navy Blue Corner. Links will be everywhere. Hit us up, DM us, tweet at us, whatever you need to do. We're keen to do a lot more of these fun challenges as the year goes on. Obviously, the more buy rounds that happen, we'll be struggling for content and be needing to do more of these. It's always a bit of fun to break things up. But as we said at the top of this show, we're still doing the weekly episodes. Catch them every single Wednesday night, 8 p.m. on the Blue Abroad YouTube channel. Not too sure when this episode will be released, but our North Melbourne build-up preview show is definitely going to be out Wednesday night. We're going to be, again, the week after that, obviously, talking about what happened, all the big breaking news, previewing the next week. It's it's a lot of fun. But, yeah, look, credit to you, Lockie. Well done with the win. I appreciate it, mate. Up the bloody baggers. See you guys next time. <laughs>